Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share seven reasons why you should definitely put Romania on your list. Okay, so when was the last time that you considered Romania for a vacation? Probably never, right? Um, I'm here to tell you, you're definitely making a mistake by not putting Romania on your list of places to visit. I'm gonna share seven things that I think will convince you to go to Romania and check out this amazing country. So, let's get right to the list. First of all, I think one of the surprising things to me was the great energy in the people and in just the vibe of Romania in general. We, we flew into Bucharest and it was amazing even just when we stepped off the plane in the airport. Um, we were met with kindness everywhere that we turned. It was really cool. We stayed in Bucharest, but I would definitely recommend um, staying in other regions of the country as well. There's just so much to see in this amazing country. It's Each region is completely different than, than the next, so you're gonna get a lot of really different types of experiences from big city to little towns to old forts to, um, you know the Transylvania region it's just so many different things to experience so don't just stay in Bucharest definitely at least take day trips outside of the area just so that you can really get a feel for the whole country and experience some of the other regions and what they have to offer the second reason why you should definitely put Romania is if you are a foodie and you love food they have got food in Romania and really good stuff. I mean, there are tons and tons of restaurants and cafes. And what I thought was really interesting about Romania was that um, they don't really, although they have what they call quote unquote traditional food, um, it's not, they don't necessarily have like a, a dish that's per se the Romanian dish. So I think it's more of a conglomeration of food from from different regions and near and around them and they just kind of put it all together but whatever it is I give it two thumbs up because everything is absolutely incredible um, like I said they have so many cute little themed cafes and um, even cafes inside of the bookstores and the restaurants the food is absolutely amazing and the vibe the feel everything is the whole thing is just an experience just going out to eat at one of these restaurants You'll find lots of really great restaurants and cafes. If you're in Bucharest, the Old Town area is probably the very best place um, to go eat if you're gonna be in Bucharest. That's the best place. You're gonna find a ton of restaurants and a lot of really great vibes. And they have quite the nightlife there at night too. The next thing is their rich history. I mean, this is probably the reason why a lot of people don't go is because it was formerly a communist country and they feel like, you know, it might be unsafe or maybe it does, you know, they haven't fully recovered. But I'm here to tell you that Romania has recovered. They are doing well and um, they're really kind people. They're very, very welcoming to those coming to visit their country. And they are super excited to share their wonderful country with everyone who is visiting. So they've got not just rid the rich history um, of art and architecture and even in sports, but they also have all of the buildings and the monuments um, to show for this rich history. So definitely take some time to enjoy that rich history when you're in Bucharest because you will just be, I mean, it's amazing. Definitely set out several days to be able to see all of these different buildings and monuments and exhibitions. The next one is that uh, it is uniquely beautiful. I mean, Romania is, as I mentioned earlier, separated into regions. And each region, as I mentioned earlier, is completely different than the next. So if you like, you're an outdoorsy person, there's a region that is perfect for you for hiking and doing all those types of fun outdoor activities. Um, if you like being in the city, there's more city regions. If you like being in old villages, there's old villages. 
all types of things. There's so many things that you can see. You're really just not gonna run out of things. We were there for a month and felt like we could have stayed there for another month and still not run out of things to do and to see. The next one is thermal baths. So while we were there, we had our actual very first experience in a European thermal bath, and it was absolutely amazing at Therm Spa there. Um, it's out near the airport, and it was a really incredible experience. Amazingly enough, this place was very, very inexpensive. We paid around 20 US dollars and we had access to all of the areas of the spa and all the different mineral baths, um, red light therapy, massage tables, um, and a ridiculous amount of saunas, all different temperatures, all different reasons. They, have, they had one sauna that was Hollywood themed, and so it was a sauna, but they had a movie theater inside. Never seen anything like it, absolutely incredible. So definitely do not miss out on thermal spas if you're at all interested um, in something like that. The next one is the castles. I mean, who doesn't like a castle, right? If you've been to Ireland or Scotland and you've seen the incredible castles in those areas, you will not be disappointed in the castles um, for you to see in Romania. Like I said, each region has uh, different different ones to, to show you and that you can experience. Of course, the most famous one um, is in Transylvania, which is Bron Castle, which uh, people refer to as Dracula's Castle, even though it's just a, a story, but um, it, that is, it's what ma what's made it so popular. So definitely go see the castles and definitely a reason to go to Romania. If you like castles, do not miss out on seeing that there. And then I think the very last thing, number seven, is kind people who want to share their beautiful country with you. I really had no idea what it would be like and what the people would be like when we got there, but I will say it was absolutely incredible. The people were so kind and so helpful. If they saw you struggling with something, or uh, one time I was trying to figure out which coins I had in my hand, and the lady in, in line behind me helped me figure out the right coins to pay for the item I was trying to purchase. And um, the one of the, the vendors that was near um, our Airbnb in Old Town Bucharest, uh, we met him the our first I want to say the first day yeah first day or second day and he uh, welcomed said welcome to the neighborhood he said to us when we told him we would be there for a month so that was really cool the guard in our building was very kind I mean everyone we had no bad experience with any people every exchange that we had was so kind we walked around feeling so we walked away from each experience feeling really good um, about our exchange and uh, it was amazing everyone wanted to share a little bit uh, with you about their country. So that was really cool. Definitely um, something to experience. It's completely different than anything we've ever experienced in any other country that we've ever traveled to is they really just roll out the red carpet for those who are coming to their country to visit. So that was an amazing experience. I think with these seven things, if you're not convinced, then I, I don't know what to tell you, but you should definitely definitely add Romania to your list of places to visit because it is definitely worth a shot. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this convinces you to go to Romania. Subscribe to the channel and you can also click that notification bell so that you can know every time that we upload a new video. You can share this video with somebody who you're trying to convince to go to Romania with you. Like it and also leave us a comment. We hope to see you again soon. Happy travels.